In this video, we're going to learn how to make a density plot in R using both base R and ggplot2. So we'll start by loading in the tidyverse and the diamonds data set. The tidyverse includes ggplot2. And first, we're going to show how to make it in base R. So to do the density plot in base R, you run this density function here on whatever column you want to make the density plot for. So you just pass in a numeric column for that. In this case, we're going to do the price column of the diamonds data set. And then you take the result of this density function and you just pass it to the base R plot function. And that will make a density plot. So let's run this and see what the result looks like. So basically, the density plot is just showing you what the distribution looks like. It's similar to a histogram, except instead of having discrete bins, you have this continuous approximation for what the distribution looks like based on the data that was passed in. So to do the same thing in ggplot2, we can take the data, pipe it to the ggplot function. We only need to pass in one thing to the aesthetics because it only requires one variable. So for the aesthetics, we're going to say x equals price. We're going to make the same plot essentially as above. And then we just have to add our geometry. So in this case, we do plus, and we want the geome density. So this will create essentially the same plot as above. Of course, with ggplot2, you can do a lot of extra things to spice it up. So we could add some arguments into the density function here, like coloring, filling, set an alpha. And we'll just run this and see what it looks like to add some color and a little bit of extra sprucing up to the plot. So that's how you can make a density plot in both base R and ggplot2. All the code used in this video is available in the description below. If you found this video useful, drop a like. And if you're interested in more data science content, hit subscribe.